Hi guys! So I'm doing my recent favorites video. I guess I could call this October favorites, but um, I'm not going to call it that because it's only the beginning of October. So these are just some things that I have been loving recently. Let me know if you like this background. Um, I cleaned my room so I was like, might as well show it off. Um, but yeah, it's all up to you guys, whatever you guys like better. Okay, so I'm just going to start with my favorites. So the first thing that I have been loving is the Sephora Triple Action Cleansing Water. And this is the big one. So I use this to take off my face makeup and my eye makeup at night. Um, sometimes I'll use it just for eye makeup, but it removes it really, really easily. I like the big, um, huge bottle with the pump, so I don't have to replace it that often. And it takes it off really gently. It doesn't burn my eyes. It doesn't leave an oily residue. And it's just a really good makeup remover. Um, leaves the skin feeling very clean, not tight, not sticky or tacky. It just, it's just a really good cleansing water. So I've been loving this and I like, um, getting things in bulk because it lasts a lot longer. So that is definitely a favorite. Another favorite kind of skincare related, um, definitely skincare related. This is the Peter Thomas Roth Acne Spot and Area Treatment. The packaging is a little weird. It's probably my only complaint. Um, it has this like big um, pump top to it and I find that it's really hard to get out the right amount and then it also dries up in the top of it so that you get like that clumpiness when you first go to, you know, pump it out. But it is 5% colloidal colloidal sulfur which is an acne medication and it's really good I mean I put this on at night um, on any blemishes and they are usually like half the size by the next morning this is definitely a favorite um, best acne spot treatment I have ever tried um, next skincare product is from philosophy it's called the micro delivery mini peel pads these are amazing I will never do someone else's makeup without using these um, on their skin first and they're just little pads and you just rub it all over your face and it's exfoliating it leaves your skin really nice and smooth it gives a smooth surface and then if you use it um, you know for a long period of time you're gonna get um, your hyperpigmentation and dark spots lighten throughout time and then your makeup is gonna apply so much nicer so I have to use these before I do people's makeup especially if you're dry it's just amazing. Okay, now moving into some makeup faves. Um, I've been loving this Laura Mercier Warm Bronze Bronzer. And this is the Loose Mineral Bronzer. And it's such a weird color. If you, um, you know, swatch this or anything, I'll show you. It, it's super, super shimmery. And it's really dark. I don't even know if you can see that. But it's really shimmery and really dark. And it kind of looks like an eyeshadow. But really, it's the most gorgeous, natural-looking bronzer ever. And every time I wear this, people are just like, wow, you look tan. Did you go tanning? And I'm like, no, it's just my new bronzer. Or not a new bronzer but just my bronzer um so I really love this it is shimmery however on the face I really just I really don't feel like you can see the shimmer I've asked tons of people like does my face look too shimmery can you tell that I'm wearing a shimmery bronzer and they've all said no and I think that's awesome because the shimmer just kind of like melt in I don't know it's weird but trust me on this one it's a really really good bronzer if you have like light to medium skin it gives a very very natural looking bronzed skin which I love Favorite foundation, new favorite foundation, I should say, is the Stila Stay All Day Foundation. Oh, this is amazing. I It sucks because I got it in the wrong color, but um, other than that, I love it. It's the Stila Stay All Day Foundation, and the color I got is, number, is tone number six. Now, I mix it with a little bit of my Dr. Jart Black Label BB Cream, and just like a little dab of it, and mix it on the back of my hand. And then I will apply it on my face and then it matches perfectly. I could go a shade lighter, but I don't really feel like buying another one. Um, what's awesome about this is that it has a concealer on the top, which is kind of really cool and so unique. And it has a little mirror. So cute. And the one thing I don't love is this little scooper, like spatula. However, it is very pro esque I should say um, which I like but um, I would just rather a pump I just feel like it's a little more user-friendly however I love this foundation it really gives a beautiful finish when I mix it a little bit with this it gives it more of a glow but when I use it by itself it's more of a matte it's like a natural matte finish it's not like super matte but it, it still gives a little bit of a glow um, I really love this foundation I think it's really good coverage I feel like you do have to set it with a powder just because it stays a tiny bit tacky but it lasts all day long I mean it's really good go get color match at Sephora 
Um, it's just a really good overall foundation, but I want to just mention I do mix it with this just a little to lighten the color, but also to give it more of a glow. It gives more of a dewy finish. So these two are definitely favorites. Um, I've been using this for a while. I'm, anytime I have something that's too dark for me, um, this Dr. Jart um, BB cream is like my go-to. It's beautiful. Just a beautiful, beautiful product. I don't love it by itself just because it's very pale and um, not a lot of coverage, but mixed with other products, it's just amazing. I've mixed it with everything and I've never had it turn out wrong. So this is another fave. Um, new blush that I really like, or like highlight I should say. This is the NARS Satellite of Love. It's the highlighter from the Andy Warhol collection. I'm a NARS addict and this is no exception. So what I like to do with this is kind of like top off my blush with it. I call it a blush topper and basically it has a very, very subtle um, peachy apricot sheen in it. So I'll just top off any blush with this and it gives like a nice highlight and it adds a a little bit of like a warmth to the blush if you're wearing like a cool tone blush or whatnot um, it's just a beautiful beautiful product um, it's a lighter version of luster blush so if you think about it like that you'll know what I'm talking about um, another NARS product is the Mekong eyeshadow and this is a super super dark color it's pretty much black once you put it on so I've been using this actually as eyeliner I just take an angled brush and just like dab it on my upper lash line and it make it's so dark and so pigmented and it's like really really close to black but just without being like super black this is the buxom cream shadow in the color mutt and it's just a taupey a taupey bronze I would say okay I will tell you guys I as most of you know I work at Sephora and every time I wear this to work I get so many compliments and most of the time when I wear this to work I'm just wearing this like literally just this liner and mascara and I probably get more compliments just wearing this eyeshadow than I do on pretty much any other look that I've ever done um people just seem to really be drawn towards the shadow just because I feel like it works for everyone and I'm telling you every time I wear it and someone asks me what I'm wearing I always sell it like they'll just buy it just looking at it on my eyes. So I'm telling you guys, this is definitely one to go at least swatch or check out or, you know, try on in store or buy because it's just beautiful. So it's the Buxom Cream Shadow in the color Mutt. It's beautiful the texture wise, but it also looks almost wet on the eye. It gives like a kind of like a metallic, like wet sheen, which is really pretty. All right. Um, two lip products. This is the Cora's Lip Butter Glaze in the color Crocus. I love this. I love this so much. This is my second one. I'm not quite done with my first one, but I leave it in my brush belt at work and um, I just like apply it every time I need to touch up my lipstick. I'll put it on over top of other lipsticks. I'll wear it by itself. It's a very, it's this color. It's the color of the tube, but a very um, like sheer, not super pigmented version of this color. And I just love it. They smell really good. I don't know exactly what they smell like, just like a very subtle, like sweet smell, very good. Um, it really moisturizes your lips, but it adds a hint of color, and I absolutely love this. This is the only color I've tried in this. Um, I love my my lavender pinky tones um, for lips. I think they're flattering on me. Um, they look nice, and I can never go wrong. So if I'm ever like in doubt or I just need to slap something on, this is always, always what I go to, and it's one of my favorite products that I own. Probably, probably like one of the most used products, and I haven't talked about it yet. I don't think, um, but it is amazing. You have to go try this color out. It's beautiful. I'll wear it on top of like purpley pink lipsticks, like um, for example, Nars uh, Roman Holiday. I'll wear this on top of that. So go check these out at your local Sephora because it's amazing. And then one last product, which is kind of a surprise, and I got this really recently. Actually, it probably should not even be considered a favorite, <laughs> but we're gonna consider it one anyway. I did a whole video on like vampy fall lipsticks, and I'm loving that trend. But sometimes, like for the daytime when I'm not wanting to wear a ton of makeup, like I'll do this type of a look, which is really natural. And this lip gloss is like a year lips but better. It's a little bit um, shinier. It adds a little bit of like um, color, but not a lot. It's almost like a just a peachy pink with a little bit of a sheen and shimmer. It reminds me a lot of what um, Zoe Hart or Rachel Bilson on Heart of Dixie wears on her lips and I'm gonna do a tutorial on her look and I'm definitely gonna be using this gloss so this I should have told you what it was it's the Bare Minerals um, Marvelous Moxie gloss in the color spark plug and it feels really good like really really good probably better feeling than the buxom ones which it's very similar but 
these aren't as like glittery and chunky. Um, not that I don't like those, I do. Um, but no, I really, I really like this a lot and I kind of might go and pick up some more of these. I just want to do two hair product favorites. So this is the primer, the hair primer from Living Proof. This is awesome. Um, this stuff is the best thing that ever happened to my hair. This is the only product I use in my hair. Um, I don't use... Well, okay, sometimes I'll use like some argan oil or something if I want to add more shine, but when I get out of the shower and I know I'm going to blow dry and straighten my hair, then this is the only product I'll use. Um, so basically what this is, you can use it by itself. It's kind of like a, I think it protects from heat, um, but you put it on like clean, damp hair and here comes the sun. Sorry, this is like the weirdest lighting ever. Um, you put it on clean, damp heat hair and it protects from heat. It primes for other products, so it's kind of like your face or eye primer. However, it's good enough to wear alone because it adds shine, but it's weightless. I mean, it's very, very weightless when you put it on. And um, I've used it with other products. I've used it by itself. I kind of like it better by itself. I feel like my hair is a little more bouncy and it's not um, as weighed down as it would be if I was using a ton of other products. And I feel like it, it just is a really, really good product. So. I have been recommending this to like everyone who needs a good hair product. Um, it's kind of like an all-in-one product. You don't need, you don't really, like rationally speaking, you really don't need more than just this if you um, basically do basic things to your hair like curl, straighten, blow dry, whatever. Like this is like your all-in-one. I mean it's awesome. So, so good. I'm loving it. Um, and then the last hair thing. It's actually a tool, which I'm so excited about. This is the T3. It's, I don't even know what this is called. Um, whatever. It's just their basic curling iron. And I used it to curl my hair today. And I really, really like the curl that this gives. It's big, loose, like wavy curl. It reminds me of um, Jessica Harlow's hair. She makes videos on here. Um, I'm like obsessed with her. I, I, think, I, I think I've said that before. I like really really love her. This is kind of reminds me of what her hair always looks like and in my opinion she has like amazing hair. Um, so I kind of got my hair to look similar to hers using this this curling iron which I love and usually I'm a huge fan of curling irons without the clip like just the the wand um, but I actually lately um, I've kind of switched gears and have fallen in love with the clampy curling iron. Well, I guess just this one. I haven't used any others. Um, this doesn't have the best reviews on Sephora.com. I think people kind of like either aren't using it right or misunderstand it. Um, it's not supposed to give tight curls. You know, it's supposed to be like loose bouncy waves and I just did this so this is going to fall throughout the day and I'm totally okay with that because I want a very, very loose, um, very like not so much huge big but like you know big bouncy um curls and that's what it's supposed to give it's not going to give you like a tight look it's not gonna necessarily stay in all day if you have hair like mine like it really falls out throughout the day but i'm totally okay with that another thing i want to mention if you end up going to get this the clamp on this is not so flush to the barrel so if you have very very thin hair it might not hold your hair that well um, my hair is totally fine. I have pretty coarse, like thicker hair, so I'm totally fine with using it, but I will say if you have thinner hair, your hair, as long as you're using like a small section, it might like just slip right out through the barrel and make it really hard to curl. And I've seen a lot of those, um, reviews on Sephora.com of people saying that that's happened to their hair. And I think it's just because their hair is really thin and the clamp is not so flush to the barrel. But for my hair, it's better because it's not like clamping it down and making that crease. So whatever. I am absolutely in love with it. Like, I'm just obsessed. This is the best curling iron. And I really love the results of it. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.